Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is a January favourites. So I've got some things in here that are clothing, I've got some things that are beauty and skincare, I've got some things that were Christmas presents that were really thought out that were kind of splashing out on things that Daniel got me that were really the right decision because I've been using them almost every day since. There are some things I've had for a long time but I've been using tons in January and wanted to tell you about um, and there are some other things that are new to me and I'm excited about. So let's crack on. So I've made a list on my phone so I'm going to get that out. Okay, so probably the thing that I've used the most and I'm most excited about is this Frank Green portable tea or coffee thermos. So um, I've been thinking since getting into tea, I've been wanting one of these, particularly in the colder weather. If I'm walking along with Stan in the pram to be able to have my tea, or also just going in in the morning to smug to take it with me, feels really nice on the on the bus. I like Earl Grey with lots of milk. Um, but these Frank Green bad boys, I absolutely love. So this one is um, so all the component parts you can choose the colors of so this is the pale pink and then this is like a marine green or something like that it's a greeny color and then there's like a kind of bright coral on the top and the top bit you press in and then that's what opens it up and then you can drink and you press it again and it's sealed um, so yeah I really really love this and used it multiple times a day <laughs> since I got it for Christmas so I really recommend these guys um, I will link up below, I can't remember how much it is, but it was around 40 quid and the sort of price that I think if I was just getting one for myself, I might have just got something much more simple, but knowing it was something that I would want to use a lot and you could get one that was beautiful and I felt really excited and happy to use, I thought it would be a good Christmas present for Dan to get me. So that's what we tried to do last year and this year to buy really practical stuff but that is more special than we would get if we were just getting it for ourselves um, and that has been a winner for me so I really really love that um, another thing in that category was that I wanted to get a hot water bottle cover um, and there was one at Toast um, that I just completely fell in love with and Daniel splashed out and got for me so it is this beautiful mustard wool knitted um, one it's just it was just the cover so I already had a hot water bottle um, that fitted it luckily um, and again this was quite a sorry I've got some fluff on it I'm taking off and putting it on the floor um, but this I have absolutely loved using and has been part of my nighttime routine like warming it up with the kettle and putting it in the bed before I'm getting in um, Dan and I have been trying to go to bed a little bit earlier Stan's not sleeping brilliantly at the moment um, so we've been trying to go to bed a little bit earlier maybe have a bit less screen time before bed read um, and so as part of getting ready for bed and getting happy about going into bed early this has really really helped and I get cold feet in bed <laughs> so that has been really really lovely and yeah because it's such a nice one it's been part of my bedtime routine in a different way perhaps than if it had just been a bit of a box standard one it feels really luxurious and special um, so yes absolutely love this and I've been keeping my eyes open for the perfect hot water bottle cover and when I saw this and the colour and the detailing I was just like that's the one Christmas present please Dan so feeling very happy with those two choices for Christmas um, another thing that was a Christmas gift actually was socks I always ask for socks and Dan and I were in Arquette and I saw their wall of beautiful coloured socks and what I've been looking for I wear Bon Maison socks most of the time which are the pattern ones that I've sold at Smug but obviously Smug is closing I'm not going to be getting those in stock anymore and they are £17 a pair so I'm probably not on a regular basis going to be purchasing them from other shops whereas I could get them with a discount um, but I really like how they're quite thin um, I find that makes them really comfy and I wear a lot of different pairs of trainers um, as you can see behind me and actually I find a thinner sock much more comfortable in trainers so I went for these five I think it was like buy four get one free or something about buying five pairs so I chose these five 
um, the fifth are the mustard ribbed ones that I have on that are quite similar to my hot water bottle. Um, these are probably my favourite and I'm going to go in and get some non like ribbed ones of these. Um, but I got this cobalt blue colour um, and then three different pinky colours. This one's quite kind of dark mauvey. These are the ones I probably like the least I would say just in terms of wearing them with my clothes. I prefer the lighter and the cobalt. Um, and then there's a ribbed pair and non-ribbed pair. I love this kind of pinky colour. I have I have so many pairs of socks. And to be fair, they are I am needing an update because I've had lots of pairs for a long time and they're all starting to wear through. Not all, but some are starting to wear through. So I needed a, a boost, but I'm just washing these and re-wearing these the whole time, these five pairs. I'm just really loving the simple block colour of them. Um, so yeah, love them. I'm going to get some more of those. Would really recommend Arco ones. And I saw on Kate St Hill's Insta stories later, I think it might have been after Christmas, that she had some um, recycled cashmere ones from Arquette. So I'm going to go and have a little look at that because I think I would like that. So these are my sock recommendation and I've been wearing these the whole time all the way through January. Um, now these are back to that theme of getting special things at Christmas time um, and really enjoying them but these are actually from Christmas last year um, and I wore them a lot the first half of last year and then probably stopped over the summer and then I have rediscovered them in December and January and I'm wearing my headphones they're called Korea Funk and they're the A head headphone and these are like in pale pink and they're wireless headphones and they've got gold hardware that's really pretty and they connect to my phone. So I, I listen to quite a lot of audio books and podcasts. Um, and so I tend to listen to those on these. I've got Spotify and I listen to music as well. But I particularly love headphones for walking or running or journey into work listening to a book that I love. Um, I've got a book recommendation for you as well as one of these um, January favourites. But I wear these all of the time and I'm really, really, really happy with them. So I wanted to give a quick shout out to these and I don't look like a complete knob when I'm wearing them, which is nice too. And I can wear them over a beanie and they still, it all still works. So yes to these. Um, and then on to skincare. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna do skincare yet. I'm gonna tell you about an app and I don't tend to use it with the headphones, um, but I, it, it feels connected to talk about that next. So. If you watch me on stories or listen to my podcast, which is how to curate your life, work-life balance for the creative entrepreneur, I will link that up in the description. Um, but I like to, where I can, meditate every day. And I use an app called Headspace. And I wanted to talk about Headspace briefly um, because I have used it far more in January. So they have on there for free basic courses that you can take to just sit and have guided meditations. I find meditation really, really helpful um, for just being in a really aligned place and feeling content and happy and positive about everything. I'm a relatively optimistic person anyway, but I find it really helpful, but it encourages me to have that space and peace. And I find the breathing um, and just having some time um, really, really, really helpful in terms of productivity and other things with my work as well. I find that meditating is just a really good thing to do every day and it gets me being um, the best version of myself really and the continuity of doing it very regularly makes a difference. And um, yeah, Headspace is my favorite app to use. So um, also mentioning my podcast, I recently did an episode which was 10 ways to find more clarity um, and peace in your busyness and your business and I talk about headspace in that as well so you might want to listen to that I'll link that specifically in the description box but headspace is something that in January I actually decided to subscribe so I had been using it just for free but I've liked it enough in the winter that I decided to pay for it um, in January I've been using it even more because obviously once you're paying for it you use it loads more but there's loads of extra things loads of extra courses there's sleep stuff, um, 
there are stories to go to sleep to, there are sounds to go to sleep to, there's a course on happiness that I'm doing at the moment, um, and you can also um, do the daily, so there's a daily, a new meditation every single day that I try and do, um, and if you want to, you can actually do it at a specific time where you know lots of other people are all meditating at the same time all over the world and all over the place, which I really love. So you get a lot of extra content through paying for it. So I've decided to do that and I've used it a ton more. So that has been really, really great. So now I will talk about skincare and beauty. I am really psyched to have this back in my life. So this is the Clinique Moisture Surge, Moisture Surge sorry, Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. Um, and I use this um, as part of my skincare routine in the morning and in the evening and I use it before I moisturize just as, as it says as an extra um, as an extra extra surge of moisture on the skin and I've had this before and um, used it all the way through and then didn't repurchase because I was using something else but um, as it's got kind of colder and my skin has started feeling drier I wanted something like this back in my life so I grabbed this um, in December myself um, a boots and I really feel like I've been feeling a difference so I'm loving that I'm really pleased to have that back and I think for people who are super into skincare who use lots of serums and oils and things and know a lot about skincare that's fabulous and I'm kind of towards that end of the spectrum but this is a product that I love that does quite a lot of that stuff like it's it is a bit like using a serum in a non-scary way if you don't know lots about skincare so it's a bit kind of like entry level to adding something to your skincare routine that's going to take really good care of your skin that's a bit more than just cleanse tone, tone moisturize um, so if you're someone wanting to get more into skincare and looking after your skin better this is a really good one to start with to add to your routine if you don't know tons about skincare and you'll see a difference really quickly so I recommend that and then makeup, I don't wear makeup every day and when I do wear makeup I prefer to not look like I've got lots on so I like tinted moisturisers and, and very like light um, coverage and Laura Mercier's tinted moisturiser has been reformulated firstly I like the packaging more but the actual product is lighter and less tacky like I feel like the one before that I've used and enjoyed was just a bit too sticky in a way for me. Obviously it doesn't say sticky, but I, do, I could feel it on my skin. This, I can't feel on my skin. It sinks in and then it's gone. Um, although obviously it's left um, coverage to even out the skin tone. Um, I also use the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is uh, glowy in a similar way, but much has much more coverage. So what I tend to do if I want to have um, a bit more coverage than just this is I'll use this and then I'll use the CC cream almost like a concealer I have a bit of redness on this cheek I've got some spots here today that are just healing up that you'll be able to see because I don't put tons on um, but yeah so I might use that as a concealer and then it's still a really like nice light coverage so this is a really really gorgeous tinted moisturizer that I'm enjoying using it's SPF 30 which I like um, yeah I've really been enjoying using that. Um, now the book that I wanted to talk to you about, um, you might have heard me talk about before again if you listen to my podcast, but it is a book called, um, it's by Tara Sophia Moore and it's called Playing Big. Um, it was one of our first book club books that I ran a book club on. I've got a book club called Curate Your Life. I will also leave a link to that because in the description box I can put a link to our Facebook page, it's a private Facebook group but if you're interested in book club and want to know the books that we're reading you can click and um, request to join and I will of course let you in. Um, but it is a brilliant book, I read it last year um, and mum and I took a course, actually I read it the year before last and then mum and I took a course February last year with her called Playing Big online because I've got my mum to read it. We've both absolutely loved it. My mum's gone on to do um, another course with her about coaching the techniques in the book. Um, and I am re-reading, re-listening, so I don't have the copy with me because I've lent it to somebody else. I am using my headphones to re-listen to it on Audible um, because February's about to come around again and once you've been part of the course once you are alum and you can take it every year for free so I'm getting ready to 
do the playing big course which feels really great with Smug coming to an end to have that kind of structure with her she basically talks um, about the skills and the tools that women need to play bigger in whatever they're doing whether that's their work or their family life or their hobbies or anything you know just taking it up a notch and stopping yourself from listening to your inner critic um, or just kind of playing down what you can achieve it's all about helping women play big so it feels like a great time for me to be re-listening to that and re-reading it and I've fallen in love with the book all over again and so if you haven't read it before I would really recommend reading or listening to playing big obviously I'll link that below as well and I'll link Tara's website she's brilliant I love her um, and then let me just see because I feel like there's something I haven't mentioned oh yeah so another recommendation is um, a Netflix show sex education I'm sure you've already watched it um, but season two has just come out and we have loved it it's really really fun it's brilliant it's beautifully filmed actually I really love it just in terms of the landscapes and the architecture and the styling it's brilliant but it's also just very very clever the characters are very believable and lovable I'm completely in love with Eric he's my favorite but yeah it's set in a secondary school it's about a load of teenagers the protagonist Otis's mum is a sex therapist he ends up giving lots of sex advice to other students and, and um, he charges for it. He has very little experience but he has a lot of technical knowledge and it's amusing <laughs> and beautifully shot. So I would recommend that. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to share with you is a coat that I bought last year from Toast really mentioned toast in my hot water bottle but absolutely love toast um, and I have basically just been wearing it ever since and then through the winter have worn it just a ton it is a big kind of green dark green trench coat um, and it's there's enough space underneath to wear layers and jumpers but it's warm in itself and I just live in it and I love the way I look in it um, so yeah I'm going to show you that now Okay, so this is it. Um, it is this lovely colour. It's got a collar that I often have up. It's got really nice button details and it comes all the way down to the floor. Um, I will also do a cutaway so you can see the whole thing. Maybe if I put you up here. Let's see if this works. Can you see a bit more now? I absolutely love it and I, I live in it. It's roomy enough that as I say that you can have a big jumper and yeah, I wear it the whole time. So I wanted to give a shout out to that. Um, I don't think they have it in this colour anymore, but they've got it in a really, really nice like mustardy colour. Obviously you can tell I'm a fan of mustard at the moment. I, I kind of wish I could have both. I don't know if I would use the other one in a different way to this. So maybe that's not a good use of money but I love it so much. Um, so yeah, I'll link to that as well. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Let me know what things that you are loving this month. Um, and also give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and I will continue to do monthly favorites every month. Thanks for watching, bye.